the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. The teams then, Cologne against Hanover. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beckley. Well, thank you very much, Mr Drury, and hello to everyone. We have already started here. Hoists it high. Oh, good interception. Gets it upfield. Harnick. Chip through. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Cross deflected behind for a corner. It's anyone's ball. It's a fan. He's gone for it. It's in. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with. And to find it, I think it was a fine drive. And I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Cologne get themselves into the lead and that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. The ball has crossed the line and it's a throw. Crosses into the area. Great leap! Harmlessly behind. Driving on, can he score? What a rocket, that is special! A finish right from the top draw! Unbelievable! And they are disappearing out of sight! Oh my goodness, that has ripped the rigging! Is it just me or did he make that look very, very easy? That was terrific skill and composure from him. He finished with such a plum. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Cologne get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Place it into the channel. Brings it forward. And it's Harnick. Played out to the wing. He's made sure that that won't get through. It's a great gallop down the right hand side. So what now? Passes it through. Oh, that had to be more accurate.
fires from distance. There is the half-time whistle. Would you review the first half? Cologne are two up and everything is shaping nicely. The only criticism, it could have been three. Cologne go in at half-time on a comfortable two-goal cushion. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. It's a loose ball. Hanover have it back and they can go again. And play for a throw. Harnik. Hector. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, and they've got to be careful, Peter, that they don't allow their attempt to snuff out the threat now to turn into indiscipline. Harnik goes up and over. And the shot! Hanover are on the receiving end of some fairly harsh criticism, mainly about the tactical choices made by the boss. I think tactically he didn't make a good job of things for starters and then compounded matters in trying to correct it. I only hope he's thick skinned. Keeper's got good distance on that. And it's been taken straight back. He's had a go! Shoots! Chance again? No. Cologne really are in the ascendancy here and they know they have to register while that's the case. Oh, he really wanted that. Yeah, he's been at the centre of a lot of things, hasn't he? Uh, mostly good, I should add. Looks to clip. Can he put it away? Oh, he's managed to miss it. And he could have eased the pressure on his team by taking them within one of an equaliser. Trying to get there. It's a forceful run down the right, but he's short of options now. It's a brilliant interception. And the finish! They are rampant! And the lead is extended still further. He was so alert to the possibilities there. Great stuff. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions. How quick-minded was that? here from both sides in fact Cologne take a three goal lead and they are romping out of sight he's making good use of his strength there just refuses to be out muscled Harnik really got caught in a trap there and he just couldn't get out Cordoba So that's it, it is all over. Cologne, very much the dominant side, almost the only side. Every time they got on the ball, they looked like scoring. It is a landslide. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? What I most admire about this outfit is the cohesion and the willingness to work hard as a unit and getting behind the ball. Doing the ugly stuff, that's what gets you clean sheets and wins. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening.
Ladies and gentlemen, first 